Okay, so this is all the material that we are going to require to make our do-it-yourself acrylic wet palette, which is going to be very useful to keep the paints as wet as possible throughout our painting. So let us see what this material is. First of all, this is a tray, a simple normal plastic tray which I found in my kitchen. An old tray will also do. Now you notice that this has a sort of and a half inch or a three fourth inch depth to it, which is very, which is just enough for our need yourself palette. Because if this is too deep, this is more deep, then it's going to be a hindrance to take out the paint from our palette. Because later on, when we lay down our paints over here and we take out the paints, if the depth is too higher than this, then it's going to be a little difficult to reach out to these paints. So it's always better to have a half inch or a quarter inch thick tray. Even a shallow one will be a little difficult because later off if, if we have to keep the pallet overnight and when we cover it for overnight, if the pallet is too shallow, then it can become a hindrance because we already have paint off on this pallet at that time. So a half inch or a quarter inch thick tray is the best, is what I found. The next thing that we are going to require is a hand towel. Now you are going to have a hand towel and an old one which I have folded into half. We need a sort of a thick hand towel. If you have a single one which is already quite thick, then a single one will also do. Since I didn't have a thicker one, I used this one and folded it into half. Next is we require a newspaper. Now why have I used a newspaper is because the quantity of newspaper, the paper is very soft and once you wet it, we are going to wet it later on and once you wet it, the, it has a sort of an absorptive quality and it stays soft on soap, which is why it is very useful. I have here a newspaper which I have folded into a fourfold one. You can also take four layers of newspaper which will also be. Next what we have is the butter paper. Now this is a butter paper or even a parchment paper which just is gone and it's available in any art store. Now you will notice that these four things which I have here are almost of the same size. That is because we are going to lay this over each other. We are going to have this towel over this. We are going to have the newspaper over this and the butter paper over this. And therefore, all of them have to fit properly. And therefore, they are of almost the same size. So see that you have that. And then, of course, you have your paints is what we require. So now let's see how to assemble the whole thing and make it into a wet palette. Okay, so now to assemble our wet palette for our acrylic painting, what we are going to do is, this is the tray that I showed you earlier, we are going to lay down our wet our towel on this tray. As you can see, it fits snugly into that tray, right? It is of the same size. And now I'm going to simply pour water all on over there. Quite a lot of water, it will have to be. It will have to be extremely wet. And then, whatever little extra water that you have, I'm going to simply pour it out or remove it, but still retain as much as water as possible. So now as you can see, it's quite wet, right? So we have our wet towel over here. Over this wet towel, I'm going to lay down my newspaper that also fits snugly onto the wet towel. Now over this wet towel, over this newspaper, I'm also again going to pour wet pour water. Once again, I'm pouring water over it and it has to be also completely wet. It has to soak nicely. Soak it nicely. 
Now, because the newspaper is of a soft quality paper, it absorbs the water in Egypt, which is why I use a newspaper. As you can see, it is quite wet. Again, now whatever extra water that we have, let us remove it. And then, now you can see, it is nice and wet to all. Over this, we are going to lay down our butter paper. And as you can see, the butter paper sticks to the newspaper because it is yet. Take out all the creases that may be there. You may add water if you want to. I'm adding a little bit water just to make it wet throughout. See that it is wet, nice and wet throughout. And again, remove, remove all the creases, just flatten out the paper. Because of the water, you can easily be able to flatten out the paper. And then again, whatever excess water you have, just remove it. But don't remove all of it. Let it stay because we will require it to have our paints with. Now that you have the butter paper over this, we will be laying down the paints over this wet butter paper. Let's do that. I'm simply taking out little bits of paint that I need. So I may add a few paints over here later on. So that's it. We have our paints over here. Let me add a few paints over here too. I'm adding a few more paints. I'm adding only a little at a time. Only that much quantity which I will re require. Alright. So now that we have placed our paints over the wet palette, our wet palette is ready for use. And once you start painting, the water is going to slowly dry up. What you can simply do is, you can simply turn the wet towel from the corners and you can keep adding little water from all the four corners so that it stays wet throughout your painting process. This you will have to do from time to time as and how the paper gets dry or the wet towel gets dry. So now I'm ready to use my wet palette for my acrylic painting. I will show you once i use it a little bit and it if i have to keep it overnight how i keep it i will be showing you that too once you start painting you can simply take your paints and mix your paints on the wet paper itself and use it See how it is easy to use. It stays wet because of the wet paper. I'll be showing you later on the next stage. If you feel that the paints have dried up from the top maybe, what you can do is simply use a spray bottle and you can simply spray the paint 
Rave over the paints to make them the jewel. So now that I have finished my day's work, and you can see I have used a lot of paint over here and mixed a lot of paint over here for doing my paintings, and I still have so much of paint left on my palette. And now that the day has ended, I would like to stop my work here and continue tomorrow. Preferably with these same paints, but since they are acrylic, we need to see how to preserve them, keeping them wet. So I need to see how to do that now. For that, what I'm going to do is first of all, we will add a little more water beneath, like I had shown before. So I'm just going to lift the hand down a little bit, and I'm going to add a little bit of water on both the sides or you could even add from on the four corners. Right now my hand towels have not become so dry and so I don't need to add too much of water but if it has become dry then we can add more water there. Also over these paints I'm going to spray a little water on the whole of the paints. I'm going to spray them so that they remain wet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to fold these exactly at the place that the paints are. I'm going to leave out these mixed paints but the logs of paint that they are. I'm simply going to fold them and keep them as they are. Now this is how I'm going to keep them overnight and I'm going to show you tomorrow, the next day that is, let us see how these have been preserved and whether we can reuse them and whether they have become wet. So let us see on the next day now. So good morning everyone, it is the second day today and last night we had seen how to create this wet palette for acrylic paints and last night we had covered this up with a wet towel the used paints we had covered up and now let us unveil this and see what has happened and whether our paints have remained wet and can be reusable so let us unveil this now there you go see all our paints are nice and wet still if you can see all of them are nice and wet and we can still use them also the ones that we have over here since the top towel is still wet and the paper is still wet and everything is still wet because of that even these paints the used paints have also remained wet let me show you if they are still workable That's it. See? Can you see the paint on the brush? So which means even this is reusable. Also, these paints are absolutely nice and wet. And you can definitely see, look at this. You can definitely use all of this. See? There is no layer on it or anything. We can definitely use them again. So which means our wet palette do-it-yourself project has become successful. And this is how you can use your acrylic paints. You can keep them in the wet throughout your painting process. Now this can be done as long as you're painting, as long as you're painting, you're painting and you can keep adding water like I told you, you can keep adding water and keep it wet all the time and cover it up during your night and it will stay as wet as possible. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like it, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to press the bell icon so you get notifications for future videos and do leave your comments. This will help my channel to grow. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thank you.